Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Big Wednesday, March 1st. I'm Juan Rodriguez, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Starting with school curriculum, call 321-258-4492 to make a reservation for the Junior Class Paddling Paradise fundraiser. The Space Coast Gator Club is proud to offer scholarships to graduating high school seniors going on to attend the University of Florida. All students who attend a Brevard County School are eligible to apply. They can download the current scholarship application at the Space Coast Gator Club website for the summer or fall semester at 2017, of 2017 at www.spacecoastgatorclub.com. Scholarship awards will be based on a student's academic achievement, clarity in expressing themselves, references, involvement in extracurricular activities, work experience, and their desire to attend the University of Florida. While the number of awards varies from year to year based on donations received by the club, Individual awards have historically been $1,000 per finalist. Applications must be complete and all required documents received together in one package by mail no later than March 20th. Applications received after this date will not be considered. Now for the TV Pro Game Show. Hello and welcome to the TV Pro Game Show. Alright, in today's episode we have our contestants using their Disney movie knowledge to keep their spot on the legendary TV Pro Game Show. Previously on the game show, Jet and Khalil were removed for their inability to understand how dodgeball works. Now let's see who falls victim to the Disney movies. Or can you stand over there? Will is going to hold up a card of a Disney movie, and one of the teammates will be standing facing Will, and the other will be standing this way away from him, facing the other teammate. The person who can see the card and see Will We'll have to like act out the movie. You can make sounds, you cannot say any words. And basically, every single, the first person to get it, each time we throw a movie, will be safe and just, they're done. Like, they're good. Uh. Are the 14 to be eliminated on the TV for game? Alright.
and pardon the interruption. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final episode of PTI this year. We thank you for your support, and we thank you for your ideas helping us be great. But we're throwing all of that out the window today. This is the Competition PTI. We will not be talking about West Shore Sports. We will be going in-depth about what is going to happen in the National Basketball Association this year. We thank you, and goodbye. Pardon the interruption, I'm Sean Humphrey, and Russell Westbrook will not win the NBA MVP this year. Welcome to PTI, boys and girls. I'm David Thompson, and I trust the process. Do you? Let's get right into it. Dave, NBA MVP, you have been notorious for believing that Russell Westbrook will win it. Could you tell us why? That's right. He has a ton of triple doubles this year, and I think that's because his team is just so bad, he has to completely carry them. Like, there's other great players in the NBA right now, and they aren't better teams, but I think it's because their teams are just better. Like, they're great players on good teams with winning records, but I feel like Russell Westbrook is doing the most for his team. They are the seventh team in the West, and that's all because of him. I think the crew around him are one of the worst in the NBA. Without Russell Westbrook, they would be one of the worst teams in the NBA. So I think he is the most valuable player for his team. Most valuable player for a seventh seed in the Western Conference. If Russell Westbrook's team misses the playoffs, regardless of what his stats say, his team might be ninth, and he'd be in the same vein as DeMarcus Cousins, a superstar who could not get it done. Most valuable player means contributing the most to your team's success, and success is what the Thunder do not have. Moving on to the Sixers process. I trust the process. Do you, Sean? No, I do not trust the process. And what time is it time to stop trusting the process? Because people have been telling us this for five years. The Sixers have been worse than bad. They have been absolutely <clears throat> historically bad. And it's time to start expecting results. Joel Embiid's hurt. It's not an excuse. This team needs to stop tanking and start winning. I think Joel Embiid is showing that you should trust the process. Because he is having a great year. This is his third year in the NBA, his first year actually playing. Ben Simmons, next year, will be coming in. First year in the NBA. He was drafted this year, but he's been hurt. I think I'm not a big Sixers fan. I'm not really, like, go pulling for the Sixers. But I think Sixers fans should trust the process. I'm not, they're not going to be able to get big names. So I think them drafting, them tanking, them getting good players that have a lot of promise is what we should be trusting. I disagree. But Magic Johnson, is it time for a new era? in Hollywood. I'm not sure if Magic Johnson is really what the Lakers need. I like the move, but I don't think it's going to get them immediate results that the Lakers fans want. I think maybe over time that they'll be able to get great players to come in, but I'm not sure if Magic Johnson is a great president's class GM. He's been a great player in his career, and he's been a good owner, but I'm not sure this is really what the Lakers need. I think this is exactly what the Lakers need. Magic Johnson is a great thing for the Los Angeles Lakers. Not only is he a big name and be able to bring in big free agents, but he's got the big basketball mind. And this is what Los Angeles needs. The Lakers haven't been able to attract free agents. They missed out on the Marcus Aldridge. But this year with Magic Johnson, next year with Magic Johnson, the year after with Magic Johnson, guys like Paul George will want to come to Los Angeles. And because they have new management, Jim Buss is out, this makes this team so much better. And in the long run, Lakers fans will appreciate what Magic Johnson is about to do for this team. He is going to make them absolutely fantastic. It is time to fear the Lakers next year. I think I buy that. All right, this has been PTI. I'm David Thompson. And I'm Sean Humphrey. Have a great day, knuckleheads. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Juan Rodriguez. Have a great day, Wildcats.